Hello! Welcome back to Darish Zone and this is uh, video is in English so uh, even my international audience can understand because it's an interesting video about uh, the compatibility and performance of uh, Raspberry Pi 4 um, with the new uh, RetroPi released uh, on this month is the uh, release uh, 4.6 they arrived to the 7 version so it's 4.6.7 version but this is not important on the <laughs> based on this video because uh, uh, what I want to talk about is the how RetroPi uh, works and perform um, with the Raspberry Pi 4 compared to the previous version Pi 3B Plus and the, the, the new version of the, the Raspberry Pi 4 which is uh, was released one year ago is the Pi 4 B and uh, the version I've tested is the the four gigabyte version, but it's not so important because um, I dubbed the RetroPie use more than uh, one or two gigabyte of the main board. The, the four gigabyte is more oriented uh, towards the um, desktop uh, solution, not uh, properly the. A retro gaming environment like RetroPie. So, uh, if the, the 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 price is right, I suggest to to the 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 buy the the four gigabyte version. But if you if you find an, uh, a lesser uh, two gigabyte version at an interesting price, just go for the two gigabytes. It's not so much problem. Anyway, the the image the retro machine image I'm working uh, actually working is based on uh, the four gigabyte model so for for your information I I see that but uh, this is not uh, if you you see the the this custom team is the current team of uh, uh, the um, retro machine image uh, five one two gigabytes uh, build, but um, this is not a video about the, the retro machine image, it's about uh, the performance uh, of uh, uh, PI4 on the, the emulator compared to the PI3. So let's start with the 3DO. Uh, this is the, uh, a totally new entry because uh, this platform was uh, a no go for the PI3B, plus just not up to task. Uh, is uh, too complex to emulate on 3B, but it work uh, properly good on the PI4. Assume you use the max overclock, you can go with the PI4, which is about uh, around uh, uh, 2,100 gigabyte overclock, so is uh, 600 more compared to. Uh, the default clock of the uh, PI4 so you, you very need uh, a, a good cooling case an active fan uh, you cannot expect to run uh, the PI4 which with all uh, high clock on a classic passive case without uh, a, fan, a cooling fan or a very very high performance uh, uh, head head uh, head scene head sync sorry so um with the pi4 uh, overclocked the, the 3d works uh, good let's see good some game and works uh, less good uh, some and uh, some game is okay don't 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 expect to run all the library of the 3d but uh, some of the major releases run properly good, like for example the mm, Street Fighter Turbo Total Eclipse it was one of the, the many games uh, that represent the system at the time, so it works uh, good. You have to keep uh, a lower resolution, doesn't expect to run uh, this uh, system on uh, 
full HD, you 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 better go for less resolution. But well, go on. The Amiga Amiga is very interesting because uh, and on PI3 Amiga was mostly um, a system managed by Amy Berry, which is a fantastic emulator. Mm, no no doubt, but uh, it has some. Uh, some limits some hassle let's see like that because it's not properly a, a retro arc i'm just a runner uh, random games from the set and all all you see is a game for the amiga uh, 500 600 because there's also amiga uh, 1200 and amiga cd32 and which are separated on this in this showcase let's see let's see so on the pi4 the, the things are a little different and better let's uh, say because uh, this time you can use uh, a full retro arc uh, emulator like uh, i show it's called uh, libretro pye and this is a full RetroArch Libre Emulator, which runs, uh, let's see, average on the PI3B plus, but cannot uh, manage uh, both Amiga uh, 1200 and CD32. This time, uh, the PYE can can manage all the all Amiga systems, so you can still use Amiberry if you want, or you can go for with the PYE which have the advantage to use uh, uh, all the RetroArch features you know like the, the overlays and the, the fast save and then go on so it is not a, a big leap, a giant leap but it's a good improvement compared to uh, PI3B for the Amiga Amstrad CPC behave more or less the same compared to the PI3B because uh, you know is not a so expensive system um, on performance uh, wide so um it runs uh, good like it runs good for the the pi3b no, not so much difference the arcade is interesting because and um, you have a <coughs> more um, wider choice of roms for the arcade because uh, the pi4 is a more uh, more powerful system compared to the PI3B so this time uh, still with uh, a lot of overclock you can play for example the Killer Instinct game under MAME 2003 let's check for Killer Instinct okay so Killer Instinct is not uh, uh, I show you it runs uh, good. There's some um, hiccups, but So I cannot shoot the game and, mm, because um, I, I go for too long for this video because I have to show the system, so uh, I have to be quick. The Atari 2600 mm, runs exactly the same compared to uh, the PI3B, of course, because it's a very old system. Same for Atari 6, uh, 7, sorry, 7800. Atari Inc. works the same. Atari ST works the same. Is not. Um, uh, it's uh, uh, let's say it's experimental system both on PI3B and PI4, so you you can play all the games of the Atari ST sets, but only uh, a specific set of games. But it runs uh, mostly the same. Atomic Wave uh, runs uh, very 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 good on PI4. Mm, when is where is uh, not. Um, you cannot uh, expect to play on PI3 because the Naomi emulator is too, is too expensive for the 3B. 
but it uh, works good on PI4 and um, you know on the Atom is where you can play and uh, full speed basically the Fist of North Stars which is the game based on Kenshiro Okutono uh, Ken and there's also some Sega arcade games you know Atom is where is, uh, is the arcade um, main board licensed by Sammy so the the king of fight a new wave so you have uh, you have uh, new games to play the Commodore 64 and of course it runs the same compared to the PI3B which managed uh, more 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 than good Colico Vision is the same is work the same CDTV is um, we can um, say a similar assumption compared to the Amiga it works uh, under a retroarch emulator so you can use the overlay you can use the fast save you can use the the, um, the cheat so even this this uh, platform the Amiga CD based system you can play Daphne works uh, a little better you can uh, run this time uh, all the games on full HD without any slowdowns the Dreamcast uh, okay the Dreamcast uh, you know is the most uh, evolved uh, platform on the PI4 you can you can see uh, even on Retopi they work it hard to on this platform on the PI3 you can only run uh, a bunch of games mostly indie games uh, but this time uh, you have uh, uh, not the entire set but uh, uh, most of games runs properly on the PI4 so now this time you can enjoy uh, games like Shenmue you can enjoy uh, Sonic Adventure a uh, lot of fighters, brawlers, uh, the, the gun lord works uh, full speed this time uh, and uh, headhunter, house of the dead, this is Mr. Artwork and uh, uh, Jet Set Radio you know, the Dreamcast uh, really shine on PI4 is uh, one of the main features of the retro gaming on this platform uh, the, the um, the creators works very hard on the emulator and uh, you you also have the the, um, the choice between a libretro emulator which is called called flycast or you can use a red dream if you like a known libretro emulator for me they works mostly the same so it's a very personal taste is you know Street Fighter Storm Wind, the Dreamcast shine on PI4, and this is one of the reason uh, uh, because uh, you you might consider the PI4 for, for your retro gaming uh, joy. The Game Gear uh, runs the same Game Boy runs the same, of course. Game Boy Advance. Mm, works good on PI3, no difference there. Game Boy Color the same, television runs the same, of course, it's a very old system. Sigmaster system works the same, no difference there. Mega Drive, no difference. It already works very good on PI3, you know. MSX, no difference, even. The Naomi, uh, this is uh, we can we can say the same thing uh, about Naomi uh, and Atomic Wave, and uh, even that one is a uh, uh, arcade based mainboard Naomi. So you can play this game on uh, your PI4, and uh, all games works good because uh, they all use uh, the same emulator of Dreamcast. For example, Marvel vs. Capcom, you know. Uh, it was uh, a pain in the A on the PI3 there's a lot of slowdowns during the specials and things like that and this time uh, it works uh, very good on the PI4 so you can enjoy this fantastic uh, fighter by Capcom move on the Nintendo 64 I know most of you uh, want to 
uh, know about the Nintendo 64 which is a, a very traumatic platform on PI3B because uh, most of game doesn't, doesn't run full speed but I have to say and things have not changed much to be honest on the PI4 because I think uh, there's uh, um, a question related to emulator optimization on something like that because uh, uh, most of games still runs uh, bad on this system you know there's uh, more than uh, 300 of games uh, you can see around 100 of games uh, runs uh, uh, better compared to the PI3 so you can play for example and remember most of this game uh, very need uh, an overclock uh, a heavy overclock like for example GoldenEye uh, works uh, average uh, it's pretty playable and doesn't expect a great performance but was unplayable before so but you can actually enjoy some Nintendo 64 game some not all the game unfortunately M things may change it, uh, with the new driver Vulcan driver who knows but for the moment uh, this is what we have the new Geo works the same because it was already super optimized on on uh, PI3 the new Geo CD works the same no problem there Nintendo NES works the same no problem there Neo Geo Pocket Color was the same, of course. Open board, open board. Uh, it's interesting because it works uh, better on PI4. For example, there's not anymore the uh, V-Sync of the image, and the performance are better. Um, the compatibility uh, same, um, seem the same to me. Uh, the games that don't run at all on PI3 doesn't run on PI4 either so but I'm pretty satisfied by the performance because it runs better the PC engine works the same, PC engine CD works the same no difference ports I have to say I, I've not um, explored much the ports so maybe some games runs better compared before I have just tested uh, all the Doom games uh, and uh, works good like works good on PI3 PSP this is an interesting uh, I know you are interested too this is another platform uh, mm, along uh, the Dreamcast uh, which have a uh, great benefits on PI for only the minis games basically work it properly on PI3 and you have to forget all the major releases for the PSP things are different this time very different because you can play uh, a lot of PSP games and they run uh, good you can uh, choose between uh, the Liberty emulator or the um, PP, PPSS PP emulator and is uh, highly recommended to use uh, our overclock even for this platform because uh, you can gain a lot of uh, frame per seconds on games uh, assume that you you run the games with um, HD ready resolution so this time you can play games like um, NBA Outrun 2006 uh, me some networks uh, the, the Pro Evolution Soccer 2000 was good, the Ridge Racer 2 was good and Cigarelli Revo Cigarelli Revo Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max Tekken 6 Okay, PlayStation PlayStation was uh, highly optimized on the PI3 uh, so 
you may not see big difference this time on the PI4 but I have to say one thing this time you can use the enhanced resolution on basically almost all games assume the game some game may uh, may have some um, compatibility issues but uh, this time you can run uh, most of game on enhanced resolution I have to say the enhanced resolution make a big difference compared to the default resolution which was very low for the PSX of course so you can play games like Resident Evil on an um, enhanced resolution is a very improved experience you know but consider that uh, it's works it works good like works good before the residual VM residual VM is uh, one of those platform that works uh, very good on the PI4 there's only four games for this emulator but this time for example you can play the longest journey which is a massive big games is around seven gigabyte games so it's very huge you can consider this game almost uh, like a modern game you know the Sega 32X works the same and the Sega Saturn I know you are very interested on this platform I was too and um, I have some big uh, expectation for this system but I have, I have to say we are not there yet but you can play some game not full speed with some experimental emulator you can play Sega Rally Championship uh, which uh, I think around uh, if you use uh, heavy overclock of course you can go for 84 cent um, of the speed compared to the original but it's playable don't get too excited about this playable even for that system the Vulcan drivers may change game or and more evolved the emulator you know the emulator are all uh, managed by fan not professional so you can expect that the times are slow sometimes the times are slow but uh, you don't know maybe uh, emulator can may improve it on future but that's what we have now the scan VM is um, not a big difference I have to say a lot of, of missing artworks uh, anyway it works uh, most the same to me compared to PI3 I have to say uh, some game that not works uh, on the, the PI3 now it works like for example Gabriel Knight 2 works and I don't know if uh, this is a PI4 uh, different driver that make difference not sure but you can play this game uh, on PI4 the Sega CD it runs uh, the same not big difference Super Graph the same Super Nintendo SNES runs the same so yes of course uh, the games runs better because the, uh, the the platform is more powerful uh, but uh, I, have to, I have to say uh, on PI3 I don't I don't have any problem with the 60 60 bit uh, platform that runs good SNESD same because this is a Super Nintendo games with an answered soundtrack so the sharper works the same is not a a lot of horse work have to be done on this system because uh, it uh, still lacks the, the support for the multi-disc games so it's not related to the, the, the system power this, uh, the, the emulator have to be evolved more than that the ZX Synchronous Spectrum runs the same because it's the very old system you know on Kodi you can expect to to play uh, full HD stuff uh, without stress uh, much the the system because you have a more powerful 
uh, main board this time you have powerful processor so um, okay let's um, let's put the finish line on this video basically you have a uh, all the system, all the old system you already know are improved uh, more or less on PI4 on RetroPie PI4. But uh, the big things are the system like 3DO. The Amiga to me is very improved because uh, I can use uh, RetroArch emulator on all all Amiga system. The arcade is improved because you have more games to to play compared to before. You have the Atomis Wave, all the, the Saturn Army based system, the Dreamcast is a very highlight on the PI4 emulation emulation. So all the games don't forget uh, uh, games like um already mentioned the Shenyu, but uh, uh, Resident Evil called Veronica. So Dreamcast Galore for the PI4 and uh, the PSP uh, you can enjoy more game compared to before so those are the system which benefit uh, the most of the Raspberry Pi 4 so guys thanks for watching this video let me know what you think and uh, we catch up on the next one bye bye